What is going on, amazing, amazing people? Yes, I said that twice because you guys are that amazing. Two years ago in my online subliminal class, I had somebody ask me, say, Lou, can't we just use AI to write affirmations? And I feel like now with how big AI has blown up, I wanted to really make this video to help answer that question for people that write their own affirmations or just are curious, like, what's going on right now? <laughs> so AI, I don't want to use the definition of what is AI from AI. <laughs> so let's scroll down here. Artificial intelligence is a technology that allows you to generate, classify, and perform tasks like image analysis and speech recognition. So it can take a bunch of information, either images or just, you know, text, and just analyze and process through it really fast, which is pretty cool. I want to ask a question that I feel like summarizes this a little bit better, right? Would you guys rather buy a book on financial investments that was written by an AI that took, you know, bits and pieces from other financial investment books and compiled all of those bits and pieces together? Or would you rather buy an investment book from an investor that has brand new insights, new information that hasn't been released before? And this is why Amazon doesn't really allow in other publishers for you to get paid for right AI generated books. I think it's cool. I think they're they're different. But is it original and you know unique or valuable? So I asked AI to write me affirmations on public speaking. And as you can see here, these are not very detailed. Like I would say I am an extremely confident and engaging, you know, very engaging speaker. You can even break confidence down into like subcategories like being confident, you know, in front of a camera as an actor or just speaking in front of a camera or speaking in front of an audience, right? Speaking in front of, you know, speech and debate versus just giving a TED talk. <laughs> right. So there's a lot more detail that's just missing here. So I asked AI write me detailed affirmations and it actually broke these down into subcategories, which is pretty cool. And I'm not, I don't want people to think I'm being biased here, right? I just want to focus on the facts and just, right, factually or honestly just analyze everything. So that's really cool. But the issue we have here that one author made a very cool, not cool, but a very valid point, right? That AI doesn't have the ability to consciously flow or structure, right? Or just mindfully organize ideas, right? And a lot of these, like, I can tell it's like trying to break these down into separate affirmations, but it just sounds like a jumbled paragraph. Like, I connect authentically with my audience, recognizing that we share a common experience. I engage them with relatable stories and examples. This is great, but it just is so jumbled, right? And I think this is where what one content creator, it wasn't for affirmation, said, but it's relatable here. This is a great starting point. It's a really good starting point. And Napole Napoleon Hill's whole idea on masterminding was to spin ideas off of other people, right? To where you can get one awesome creative idea. But AI can be used as a starting point to spin some ideas off of you, right? I think it's great for that. Now, how about physical affirmations? I asked ChatGPT to write me affirmations on lowering blood pressure. Once again, it was pretty cool. It broke these into points that you could actually break out yourself or just start off with stress reduction. I really stress and embrace relaxation. Now, me nitpicking from a human standpoint or a human conscious is even more important with physical subliminals. Because you mess up with the details on physical subliminals, someone could, you know, really be in some physical trouble. For example, I really stress. Well, you get stressed from working out. So one fine detail here would be I release all bad stress and you could even break it out a little bit more to make it even more safe. What is the number one factor in high blood pressure? It's salt, right? It's salt. Salt is the number one factor in high blood pressure and there's no salt here at all. You could write, you could ask it to write you affirmations on right, processing salt or reducing salt intake or just having healthy eating habits to eat less salt but once again are you are you spending more time having to edit and ask it to write even more 
or is it faster just to just start from scratch and just approach this yourself for physical results i think these key points are great but what ai does when you ask it a question is it takes the top answers and it just doesn't give you all of the top answers it just gives you like some of the top answers so you would have to still go in and do your own research for for physical subliminals but once again i think it it's a good starting point it's a good assistant and jansen wong or jansen the ceo of nvidia he said it so perfectly right they produce ai chips and computer chips right there he's he's the leading expert in ai he said that he likes to use ai as like an eight or ten dollar assistant that helps his engineers who he said their time is so so valuable and they get paid you know like probably what one two three hundred dollars an hour and but he said it's a great assistant and i i totally agree for turning my long videos into shorts t for people that only want to watch you know key certain key points i think it's great for getting a starting point maybe for some people that want to write affirmations it's great but like the whole amazon book thing we talked about earlier and why so many people are so frustrated right now and it's not because of the obnoxious guy driving by on a motorcycle <laughs> So many people are frustrated right now because this, right? P AI is taking subpar affirmations and just spamming them all over YouTube. They even use somebody's fake LinkedIn profile picture in their YouTube account. And it's like, what do we even know is real or not anymore? What, how, like, how do we know what's safe? There's just so much AI flood all over YouTube now. So I wanted to make this video just to offer some insight, right? We are done. We're coming up on time. We're at seven minutes. I wanted to try making this five minutes, but it was just right so much to really express or to to address to where people could really understand, right? I don't want people to know. I want people to understand. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video. You have your own answer now. You can make your own decision. And I love and appreciate all of you guys and all of your support. Thank you so much.